Well, a listed investment company, LIC, is a collective investment vehicle that's structured as a company rather than a trust. And essentially, it's a group of people who pool their capital, put it into a company, and that's then invested into other companies or other assets. The main characteristic of a listed investment company is it's actually a closed-end fund. There's a limited amount of capital that's available to invest, and we increase the size of the uh, amount of capital to invest by issuing more shares. Well, investors ask what are the main characteristics of an LIC, and essentially they're a company. So they're like any other company that you would find listed on the stock exchange. They have a board of directors, they have uh, shareholders, and they typically reflect their value to the shareholders through dividends that they pay and through the price that they traded on in the stock market. How do LICs compare to other types of investments? It's a question we're often asked. Essentially, they have the same characteristic that they're a group of people put it, pulling their money and investing them, but the fact that they're structured as a company and not a trust means that they're more simple to operate, they're more transparent, you're able to, shareholders are able to interact with the people who run the companies because that's required. So it has quite a lot of interesting aspects to it that are somewhat different from other types of collective investment vehicles. This investment companies have been around for quite some period of time. In the case of AFIC, over 80 years. And what we've seen more recently is a number of listed investment companies come to the market because investment managers like the structure in terms of long-term investing. They now total over 80 companies, so listed investment companies, and they would represent around 30 billion of uh, value on the Australian Stock Exchange. Listed investment companies invest in a number of sectors uh, or asset classes. For example, Australian Foundation Investment Company invests in Australian equities. There are other listed investment companies invest in overseas equities. And there are others even specialise in small companies or even technology companies. They're all available on the Australian Stock Exchange. It's been an interesting phenomena to watch the growth of listed investment companies in recent years. And primarily, I think it's a function of their simplicity the fact that people can understand them relatively easily. They're like other companies, so they have shareholders and they have boards of directors. But I think also fund managers like them because they provide a core of capital that can be invested and they're not subject to ebbs and flows of money coming in and out of their funds, which can disrupt their investment style.